Hello everybody, it is Takokos, and I am back with A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And today we are going to conquer the Death Mountain Temple and get the final pearl, um, the Moon Pearl, final pendant, excuse me. Um, which you will find out is not a pearl, but in fact, well actually in some games they are called pearls. I think in Wind Waker they were called, um, Fiore Den and Nehru pearls. Um, but I'm used to thinking of them in terms of what the actual gem is, because it's not a pearl. Um, it's a sapphire, an emerald, and a ruby. And it was called the Gorgon's Ruby. Goron! I keep saying Gorgon. It's because it's one letter off from Gorgon. Goron. 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 My nails are wet right now, too, so this might uh, impact the gameplay. Let's see how we do with that. Just imagine that Link's nails are also wet. He's wearing gauntlets. Oh, these switches. Do you remember when I was in the... Oh, look! His little sprite has the gauntlets on it! That's cool. But, um... Yeah. When I was in the bar, I was like, that dude looks like a switch from a switch palace. Um, my entire childhood, I thought these were old dudes. Like, I would go up to him and try to talk to him. Um, because they look exactly like that old dude. Boop. Let's go down here. Probably should have seen what um, Sahara Law had to say up there. I stabbed him! Alright, that's it. Everybody's getting boomeranged. I'm bad at boomeranging people. Alright, we're back to stabbing. Back to the stabbing plan. If I die in this dungeon in the first, like, two seconds, I'm gonna be so mad. I hate these worms. I think that this is the dungeon where in the, um, enemy is that big worm. So, that'll suck for me. Tuck, it is I, Sahasarala. I think I got it right that time, Sahasarala. Sahasarala. Right? Is that H silent? I've seen other names where the H's are silent. Is that why I thought his name was Sasha? Like, um, could it be... Someone in the comments tell me how to pronounce his name, because I feel terrible that I've been mispronouncing it. Talk, it is I, Saharahala, the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. Yeah, it basically works like, um... Like if you had a Uku, but you didn't do a lot of acid first. Or like, uh, Fiore's Wind, these fucking bouncy things. Nope. No! No! You will not knock me to my doom. Also, sometimes I feel like you'll hit these and it'll switch the, um, holes in the ground to other places. Instead of switching the, uh, switches on- No, that's these. That's these. You know who doesn't have a- Shred of a big key? Really, dude? I can't swing my sword. What just fell? That sound makes me nervous. That is the sound of a... The sound of something falling is sometimes the sound of a, um... Mall master coming to get you. I'm standing in a corner so he can't knock me off. You stole my strategy. Piece of shit. Why did I do that anyway? I know I can't get in here. Like, why did I even come in this room and kill everything and hurt myself? And are we just listening to, like, the voice in Link's head at that point? Let's see where this drops me. Alright. What's on up here, then? I don't like the cut of that thing's jib. Do I have any keys? I do, indeed. I swear to God. I chase death. Maybe I should go get that bottle before I come in here, because my ass is just going to keep dying from incompetence. Didn't even feel all my heart. I thought I was going to get hit with that fire. Now I got the map! No. Stab happy. Oh look, that would have been useful. 
in these are these like big ass pots? What are these? Let's go in here. <coughs> if this is that room where these floor tiles, yep. Let me see if I can. Nope. I thought maybe with the new shield. I was n incorrect. I hate them so much. Ah, bitches! That just killed itself. That only works if you're good at swordsmanship, which is why I did so poorly at Skyward Sword. I mean, if I can't hit a button and work the sword, how the hell do you expect me? I threw my shoulder out playing that game. That's not a joke. I really threw my shoulder out playing Skyward Sword. I got way too carried away. Nah, I'm not letting all these out. Bitch! Where's my fucking arrows? I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna stand in the corner like a coward and shoot it in the face. That's not working either. They've got like a target on their back. You would think that I'd be able to hit it. The issue is that I have like a phobia of these like in real life. So it's hard for me to like look at them. Even in cartoon form, I have like a real visceral reaction to them got one heart and that sound is gonna drive me mad. Really? Don't throw your bones at me! Really, nothing in here is gonna have a goddamn heart in it. I really should have went and got that other fairy. I didn't know I'd be this incompetent. Got the master key. I'm gonna keep this equipped because I'm gonna be scared to death of everything in this dungeon. Yeah, that's helpful. That's not a heart. Oh my god. Do not fill me, old man switch. What is it actually supposed to be? Like a crystal ball and a pedestal? Because I don't see it. I just see the old man sitting at the bar. I'm so scared to do anything. Everything frightens me. Do I have to go back downstairs and hit that old man again? I'm going to be completely useless until this sound stops. Oh shit! Shit! God damn it. Both my fairies. Not even to the boss yet. Good lord. Okay, well now if I die, I die for real. So, that's great. Hopefully there's a fairy fountain in here somewhere. That's the only thing that'll bring me salvation. I can probably fall through one of these and wind up somewhere. Like, um... I hope the enemies aren't back in here. Okay. Like, I feel like one of them I could maybe fall through and wind up on top of those. Um, no, I thought maybe I'd fall on top of it. Alright, let's look at the map. Are those chests? What is that? Those are the switches. Okay, I need to get to the third floor. I've been on the third- I don't remember being on the third floor. Let's go up here and see what happens. Oh, this is the third floor, okay. Did I get the big key? I don't remember getting the big key. Am I just out of my mind that much? I think I was just so worried about death, I completely forgot I did that. The, uh... Oh! Are these that they're these things? It's like 30 years and I finally figured out what those are. They're these switchy let's look, the switches and look at these things heads. 
I think this is the room where you have to fall down to get somewhere. But I'll deal with it in a minute. See, all these, like, caterpillar things, I know that the boss of this temple is going to be that big-ass caterpillar thing, and I really, really don't want to deal with it, because it's going to knock my ass down, it's going to kill me 50 times, I'm going to look like a jackass. I'm going to stand right here. And just, just swipe. There we go. I'm hoping that one of these will have a fairy in it. Got a compass! The lair of the dungeon's master is literally like right there. Talk, it is I, Saharala, the elder. An orb known as the moon pearl is in this tower. No shit. Whoever holds the moon pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the dark world. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the moon pearl. Why does he think that I'm going to forget shit that I literally went into the, um... Let me get the other way. That I went into the dungeon to get. Like, yeah, that's why I'm here. He has absolutely no faith in me whatsoever. Dead. Oh, I thought that would hit that wall. Shows what I know. Little tiny, tiny dongos. Tie dongos. Okay. I'm feeling more confident, even though I don't have any health or reason to feel that way. Just gotta make it through. Shit, there's so many of them. Boop. Oh shit, I think it's right here. Oh shit. Maybe there's some fairies behind that wall that I saw cracking. Go stand right by that bomb. No, that's got a crack in it. That is bombable. Come at me. This corner strategy is working. It seems like this dungeon was really short. Because it's, um... It's a Ganon from Ocarina deal. You go up there, and it's up there. But then it's like, it'll knock you down, like Ganondorf does. Now, look at that. Do those not look bombable? Okay, one of these, um, throws you down... <sighs> I can't remember exactly where it was downstairs, but one of these will throw you down right on top of that chest. Like, right on top of it. I might have to switch them up. This one, I bet. Let's try this, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. I got the moon pearl! Oh, it's not the pendant, then. It's a separate thing. This protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. Yeah, all that does is let you not turn into a bunny when you go to... Uh, and that's why he thought I'd forget about it, because I could have just went through that boss room up there and just never have come back. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. But I gotta go into this boss fight with no fairies, and I'm gonna die deader than hell. I know some of these pots have got to have hearts in them. I'm only gonna get however many I need to have a full thing of hearts, because... Because this is gonna be straight up hell. I was never good at this. Like, even back in the day when I was good at stuff, I was never good at this. It's gonna knock my ass right off. And he gets real mad and he starts going faster, too. No fairies. It's gonna knock my ass. Yep. No, 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 no! Didn't last one second. Maybe if I had more confidence or something. I don't know, I just... I've never been good at this boss in particular. This will take me 4,000 years. If I ever beat it. I'll just be here forever. No, no. Yeah. If there wasn't a big ass hole in the middle, it'd be easier too. But there is a big ass hole in the middle. I'm not going over there. I don't trust myself enough to not fall to my doom. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Jesus! God damn it! When you fall, I believe that it resets to maximum health as well. Like, I believe its uh, health meter is tied to that room. 
Take a drink of my pop. God, that sound it makes! A million little legs just skittering. Okay. You can do this, Link. It's me and you. You can do this. I believe in you. You just gotta, gotta not let it get to you. It's a pretty big field. Just, just stay away from it. God, you can see its little feet moving. Ah! Got fucking googly eyes. Nightmare fuel. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't. Oh, so close. As you see, the issue is not that you will run out of health and die, so I guess I probably shouldn't have been so gung-ho on getting fairies. The issue is that it'll knock your ass to your doom, knock you downstairs, which I never really had a problem with with Ganondorf. It's just this thing. Oh god, the character model puts me off. Like, it's, it's got millions of little hairs or legs or something, and I don't... It's, like, it's in the Uncanny Valley where I don't know what they are, but I know that I hate them. Oh god, look how fast it is! Oh god! Oh sweet baby Jesus Christ! Oh, die and be gone! Be gone from my life forever! Why is the music still playing like I'm still gonna have to do shit? Oh Jesus! That was way, 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 way too intense. I'm amazed honestly that I got through it as quick as I did because I've always hated that thing. I've hated that thing for like 30 years. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword. I'll tell you what. I'm like, my hands are shaking and I'm like panting. I, I hate that worm thing. I hate it so much. Um, still though, weird to me that, um, that Den's Pearl is related to wisdom in this game. Okay. Jesus. I can't fucking breathe, man. Like that... It really took me out. You don't know how much I hate them, like, caterpillars and shit. Okay, I can't do anything over here yet. I gotta go, um... I'm gonna get that bottle. Get the hell up off this mountain. Like, just get the straight hell up. Um, if y'all wanna see now, I can go into the, um, dark world. And I can use my weapons. Because the reason it was bad to be a rabbit before is you couldn't even pick up these bushes. Like... You had to, um, you had to do nothing. You're completely at the mercy of these, uh, like, nightmare creatures. But now we're more open to explorer because we've got the, um, the moon pearl. So we can go in here and we can still use our sword and our other assorted weaponry. Um, there's a little bit of exploring that you could do as a rabbit. I've seen, um, like, cheats where people can get just about all the way down Death Mountain and go do shit. But, um, I don't recommend that, because you're completely helpless. And, um, look at this graphic. That's supposed to be the Lost Woods down there. Um, so we are now in what will become known as the Kingdom of Low Rule. From, um, oh! Got a fairy. Fairy spelled weird in this game. But yeah, this place right now is under uh, Ganondorf's reign. The sequel, direct sequel to this game, is set, I'm thinking, 300 years after the events of this one. It's, it's a good while. Low rule has had time to be established and kind of generate its own, um, like, economy and structure and all that. Right now, it's... It it's just seems like it's in chaos. This whole place is in chaos. Um, Kakariko Village is in the same place, but it's like a rundown thieves' den. It's it's not. They're not doing good. They're not doing well for themselves. Uh, the mask cult that's in there has not been established. Um, and I know that in Low Rule. Oh, cool. Morality is or morale itself is not high. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. 
But, I mean, right now, it's, it's a clusterfuck down there. There's no ruling class at all. And there's just, like... I think that there are cops, but I don't know who they're working for. Because, um... I think I've seen guards there before. Maybe I should go tell this old dude I got to Moon Pearl. I mean, I haven't saved his granddaughter yet, but he might be happy to know that I did get it. What's up, mustache? No, he doesn't understand. He doesn't. I thought that might have, like, set a game switch or something, but no. <coughs> That's fine, though. We're all good. Um, we'll go get the uh, Master Sword. Stop. Go get the Master Sword and then go get that bottle. And I'll probably end the video there and start another one in the Dark World. Cave music is so foreboding. I hate when you knock stuff like into the wall because then you can't get it. It's just gone forever. I'm not even gonna kill them. I don't care. It's like the psycho scene in the shower, like. That landed on the doorway. That's inconsiderate of it see if the lumberjacks are still up here because I don't remember what makes them leave. Yeah, they're still up here. Okay, well we're gonna go into the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. I'm not even gonna get in there because I know. The music here is like so carefree but everything is terrible. Oh, there's these little fake Master Swords that are just sitting around. So, um, God, why are there guards in here? But you pull them and it's like, no, this is it, the Master Sword. No, this can't be it, too bad. Um, for those of you don't who don't know, the thing about the Master Sword is that it can't be wielded by anyone with any kind of evil or ill intent in their heart. Um, it's what's called the Bane of Evil's Blade. It's a bunch of thieves killed people hanging out. Hey kid, it's a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I hear that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. So keep that in mind, because if you'll remember, there was like a dude just sitting in the desert. That's interesting right there. There must be a way outside. I don't remember because it's diff it's you know designed to be a maze. So I don't remember exactly how to get through here. In the Game Boy Advance one when you fall down holes like that, he's like ah! and like the Ocarina of Time voice and it's very annoying. I don't know why it's annoying, because it doesn't annoy me in Ocarina, but it annoys me in this game. I just scratched my face with my wet nails like a dumbass. The music, like, it's so happy it kills me. It's like... <coughs> the music is part of, like, the luring children to their deaths, because they hear it. And oh, there's that mushroom I was wanting. Is it time sensitive? This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Select it with the Y button. Okay, we'll give that to her then. I thought one of the games these mushrooms go bad. I don't know what it is about Shigeru Miyamoto and his goddamn mushrooms. Oh, we made it. This clearing is so cool because it's got all these little animals that come up. And if you take this scene right here, like if you screenshot this, and then you go to get the Master Sword in um, the new game, Breath of the Wild, it's amazing the detail they put into it. It's exactly the same. These silent princesses are in the exact same positions. Why did I get the mirror? I needed the book. Okay, gibberish. And the hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. Okay, I am descended from the hero of Hyrule. I got the three things. Let's pull this sword.
Suddenly, Sahasara Sahasarala contacts you telepathically. Talk, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please talk. I'm not gonna go fight Agadim right now, though. Um, because I got some errands I gotta run. <sighs> talk, help! The soldiers are coming to the sanctuary! Ay! Yeah, again, I have some errands I need to run, so I'm, I'm gonna go do that. Also, I don't remember how to get out of here. Oh shit! Nope! That guy will rob me blind, and I'm not losing all my shit. Another mushroom. I mean, it's not that I don't want to- God, they're everywhere. It's not that I don't want to save the princess. But, I really need to go get that other bottle because I almost died in that last temple from not having, um, enough fairies. So it's probably not a good idea for me to go up against Aghanim without it anyway. Like, let's go up here and see- no, the lumberjacks are still there. Well, no, the Master Sword might have changed things. At some point, those lumberjacks go away and I can get in that tree. Let's see if they're still up here. No, they're still up here. Pillion fashion um, is odd to me. Like, you notice that the lumberjacks and some of the other people here are also wearing the same tunic that Link is. In a lot of games, that's not the case. Um, it is just like Link, and it's considered um, like hero's clothes. They're passed down from the hero of time. Is this some? Let's see what this is. Well. What do you know? Also important to note is that you don't, your hearts don't refill when you get a piece of heart. Just if you get like a whole heart container. No, y'all back the fuck up. You're all like, oh yeah, my hearts aren't full. I thought I could shoot a sword beam at him. How you like me now, bitch? That was so anticlimactic. I had it for one second. But wow, wow. Skyward Strike! The name didn't have a name for so long. Or that move didn't have a name for so long. Wait, can I go get the... I'll, I'll watch Zelda's cutscene. Oh no, she's just gone and the priest is like dead. Talk, you are a second too late. I have failed, Zelda. The soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. It's apparently a Jedi master. Dissolves upon death. Okay, I'm gonna go and see if I can get that cloak of invisibility, though. I don't think I ever use it. I just want to have it. Because I'm thinking I might can get to it now. Oh shit! Why are they hiding in the damn weeds? I don't remember them doing that. No, I can't. I have to upgrade my glove. I'm gonna kill this guy for trying to shove shit at me. That's what he gets. That's what all y'all get for leaving Zelda in the damn... No, oh, just bones. That's creepy. They don't bury their dead very deep. That's why y'all get haunted. If you buried somebody two foot in the ground, they might be kind of pissed about it. Makes it a lot easier to grave rob though if have anything worth stealing. Do I have to have the shovel and then come back and do it? That might be the case. Might have to actually dig up the graves. I was thinking you could just push them though and get stuff. These Poes aren't even trying to come at me. There we go. 
Yes! Been trying to get back in here. I have been trying to get back in here so I can see what these bombable areas were. Because I knew it was going to be full of cool shit. Of course, I come in here with everything like full. Why is it telling me what bombs are? Three hundred dollars! Yes. Okay, good. Now I know how to get back down here if I need to. Of course, only the, um... Sacred sword! Repelling the evil of woodland creatures. That's great, though. Like, that's seriously great. Make a bank. Stupid mouse. Eh. I really, I forgot that was gonna happen, or I didn't know that was gonna happen, or something, because I am very happy about that. I'm not calling down the snakes this time. I'm just gonna open the door. Now, there's nobody here to close it, so I hope it doesn't just close behind me, but... Yeah, that was good. I'm glad that happened. Now, let's go to the castle. Jump under a bridge. Am I close? Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I am not close at all. Um... Do I need fairies, though? Yeah, I do. I tend to keep fairies in this game rather than the potions, um, until I get pretty deep into it, because I just don't use a lot of magic. Oh, is this not... I don't really like the great fairies. They don't do a lot. I really just need the smaller fairies that I can catch. I was thinking that that's what kind of fairy fountains was. Or like in the Zelda games where the great fairies will come, but then they'll disappear and it'll be like a normal fairy fountain. Let's see where this teleports. God, swim into it. There we go. This is closer, so that's less of a walk. Also, I think there's an actual fairy fountain around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So that worked out perfectly in the end. God damn it, no. These great fairies are a pain in the ass, but at least they're not fucking terrifying like they are in Ocarina. Okay, I need to find some place to jump in this river that doesn't have like a ledge over it like this. Uh, one of the sides is blocked off, so I need to go the other way. Which one's blocked off? Oh, maybe they're not blocked off. I just need to find somewhere that I can jump in. Just look for a ledge somewhere. That is open. God! I can't believe I just walked right in front of him like that. That was crazy. Okay. Dude, back up! If he'd left me alone, he'd be alive. That's on him. Okay, I know that it's guarded this way. There's a way to get in this goddamn river. I'm gonna have to swim a mile after I get in there. This is crazy! Is this a real fairy fountain or is this a great fairy? Man, fairies are scarce in this game. Oh my god. I might make a cross stitch pattern of that fairy, like have it just say, um, you know, close your eyes and relax or whatever the thing is that she says there. Jesus Christ, finally! Swim our asses back up there. We'll be tired as hell by the time we get back. 
I used to be a lifeguard. Like, I used to swim, like, a lot. Kind of quit now, though. Okay, here we go. There's this dude just sleeping under here. Just lives here. In this tent that you can't go inside of. Yo, talk, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Da 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 dee! This is a magic bottle. You can store an item inside and then use it later. Like. <sighs> this dude. I don't know. He just lives under a bridge. That's kind of his thing that he does. Alright, let's go back up to. Um, up by Zora's domain and give that old lady our mushroom and get us some magic powder. When you do, you get, um, it does a bunch of stuff, but the thing I really need it for is that it will turn anti-fairies into fairies. So that if you're in a dungeon there's anti-fairies in there, you can, um, sprinkle them with the magic powder. And instead of bringing death, they will turn into fairies, and then you can use them, you know, as fairies. Like, eat them if you're dead, and they'll bring you back to life. Uh, you can also sprinkle them on those little green, uh, they're not chews. I don't know what they are, but the little green chew-looking thing... And it'll, uh, turn them into just, like, little yellow, weird, big, shoed, weird things. I'll show you. Where am I? Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't need to go that way. That way leads back to, uh, Saharilla's house. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -dum, ba -da -da -dum, I love this song here. I think this is the uh, Hillian National Anthem. I'm pretty sure. In Hyrule Warriors it is. God! Those arrows go through everything. Why do their arrows go through so much more shit than my arrows? Yeah, so she was saying making mushroom brew, she was. Mmm, the smell of rotten fruit! If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew! <laughs> I forgot I had to actually, like, equip it and give it to her. Here. Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. <laughs> I forgot that you gotta wait on her ass to do it. I think it's like Pokemon where you gotta take a certain number of steps. I'm gonna let him heal me, and then I actually think I will get... Because I can't find any fairies. Two of these. Just in case. I don't think I'm gonna run out of magic, but... Just keep it in case I do. Okay. <sighs> These things. Those, it turns them into something. Yeah, I'll have to walk around a little bit. We'll go defeat the evil wizard. I'll go up to the castle and save, and then the next video we will defeat the evil wizard. Aghanim. Yo, Ganondorf! I wish Aghanim had been in Hyrule Warriors um, and Body, both of them. I feel deserve to be in it. At least, um, I've got it for 3DS, and, um, the 3DS one has a lot of extra content. It has, um, I know it's got the Great Seas, and it's got, um, the people from Low Rule, and I really only have that game because I wanted to play the villains. It's a lot of good Zelda villains, and I was really upset that Vaughty wasn't in it. Um, the chick from, um, the Ages Oracle, Ages Oracle of Seasons, also wasn't in it. Um, a lot of the villains were not in it. And if you were gonna have her, um, like if they were gonna do an Oracle thing, you could also have um, the three girls that are named after the goddesses, and uh, what's his name, Ralph? Is that his name? Um, could have been in it. And he's honestly as good of a character as Robbio is. Robbio don't ever chicken shit, little selfish ass. Don't ever do nothing. I don't know why he's playable. I don't know why he's playable and Vadi's not. Like, if I had to choose, and I was like, do you want to play, um, Ravio or Vadi, I would say Vadi hands down. I'd much rather be a big demon monster flying around and shit. Like, I'd be a Fakori Vadi before I would be fucking Ravio. Like, I don't know why people like him. I see fan art of him and stuff, and I'm like, are we playing the same game? Are we- is this the same dude that came into my house, set up shop, and then, like, tried to charge me to use shit? Because, like... 
Obviously, he went into the, the low Rulian dungeons and stole that shit, just like Link does when he goes into a high Rulian dungeon. So he's not, like, scared to go take shit if he thinks he can make money off of it. He's only doesn't want to do stuff if it's something that'll, like, be altruistic and he won't get anything for it. He's just purely motivated by money. I don't know why he has fans. And he has, like, a lot of fans. I don't understand it. I don't remember how to get back to the castle. I can go down and around, I guess. Go play that chance game again, see if I get anything this time. Eventually, I will just law the average. Okay, we're gonna start doing this chest because the other one sucked. Yeah, that worked out well. Let's try that again, see if we get anything. Open a chest. No, now it's a dollar. Okay, what if we do the other one on the other side? Let's do the gambler's fallacy. Yeah, that's also how you would lose at like, um, that family game show where they let you choose like, um, two doors. You'll lose if you switch on that, too. Let's just go to the castle. I just don't have a lot to say about this part of the game. Um, once we get in the dark world, things will start getting real again. I just popped up on Skype trying to talk to me, but I'm doing playing Zelda. Okay, I am at the gate of Hyrule Castle. Um, the next time you see me. We're gonna end this. We're gonna go defeat Aghanim, and we are gonna save Princess Zelda. This was specifically set up to seem like it was gonna be the end of a game. This part right here. This should feel like the end. The things in the dark are not the same as the light. Until next time, have fun!